Okay, I think we're now working. All right, so to answer Sweden Inc.'s question earlier, I am no longer in college. I wish I were in college, uh, just because looking back at those days, they seem to be pretty easy. Um, cool, so today, um, you know, this was last time we worked on a few so I just want to recap kind of some of the stuff we did last time. I know we made this level, or we rather, we took this pattern and made a level out of that. Um, I can show you guys what that looks like now. Hold on. So I just, I just got back from E3 last week and it was super exhausting. Uh, and I'm still like trying to settle back into my normal schedule here in Chicago, but, um, Oh, right, so I've also updated to a eight, GTX 870, um, which now allows me to do crazier things. Anyway, this is this is the level that we made last time based on this pattern. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool, and you know I can rotate and then jump back down, um, just move down, which is this is sort of one of my favorite views when the when you can see the previous tiles, when you can see the tiles in the distance, um, kind of just right behind the, the like closest layer. Anyway, another set we had done. Uh, we had worked on this one uh, again using this structure, basically a bunch of cubes. Uh, each one half its size uh, in, you know, kind of in the corner with a cube that's half its size and then in the corner of that, the cube half its size. And last time there was, I had actually kept this plane. So you can see that they're on this plane. So this one's interesting because it actually doesn't even repeat. Like if you look at this top part of the image, you can see there's only, it like doesn't keep going anymore. But what? did with this one, I actually took out the floors, and now, oh right, so I can actually show you what it looks like. So this is what we did last time. Um, and so you see I kept the floor at the bottom, um, and I don't think it was as interesting to look at because it made the space look a lot smaller. It was a little bit, it was a little more manageable, but I think it made the space look too small. Um, and so what I did was I went back and I removed the floors. So I disabled these two floors. I think I disabled them in the LOD versions as well. Um, 
Let me see, let me see, hold on just a second. Oh, right, here it is. Great. So now having having removed those stones, I think it's a lot more interesting. So you can actually fall through because I think this this part of it, when you're in between the layers of the world is so much more interesting than, it's actually one of the most interesting parts of it. And then also, this having that wall removed kind of lets you fall through these structures, um, like in between them. So I think, you know, I'm going to be doing a number of I'm going to be kind of making these levels on a pretty regular basis starting in the summer uh, so kind of wanted to know what you guys think in terms of you know best time for streaming uh, oh I also really love this like falling in between So I'm thinking of today, so there's a few images. Um, that I'm thinking of working with. I so we've done these ones. This one is not that interesting, I think. This one is sort of like the step one, which which I already have. Hmm. This one is pretty cool. I'd love to do something like this, although I think it requires a lot of curves. Um, though maybe these can actually be steps, kind of going down. So this might not act. This might actually be pretty cool. Right. I think this one was mostly the the pillars and the patterns. This one is pretty cool. I really, really like this one. Did I take these photos? No, I actually just found them on on the internet, kind of looking at uh, uh, repeating architecture patterns. Okay. I think that image file is messed up. I like this one. Right, this one we've already done. This one could be interesting. How would the wall walk system work if I use non-regular shapes? It it actually works fine because it's um the system uh is basically uses whatever normal the surface you're walking on is so you could walk around a sphere the only problem is it just doesn't lead to very interesting puzzles and also it um, it causes a lot of motion sickness this one is cool this one's not bad Tomater relatively cool <laughs> this one is pretty cool I like this one this is not bad so I'm actually thinking of doing something like this, like creating this sort of tower, flipping it over, and then having this giant structure. Could be interesting. Yeah, it, you know, it would be interesting to make another fractal from a different set of shapes, but cubes are what I work with from a gameplay standpoint, and it just it doesn't make sense to add anything else. Oh, this one's very cool. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I would do this one. Try to pick out a pattern here. This one just looks really messy.
also very cool again also very messy hmm this one's okay I might be able to do this one actually You know, let's let's do this one and kind of combine it with some of the pagoda stuff. Let's duplicate this scene first. Oh, so I'm going to be pretty open with my level design from now on. It's just it's, it's actually pretty hard to try to keep things a secret, so. Uh, let's call this one Pagoda Pillars. Relativity 2 may include curves, marketing answer. So, <laughs> um, actually, I did want to ask you guys, I, because, so there, I might have to change the name. Like, what do you guys think of Relativitas? Yeah, I'm not, not set on this yet, but would like your opinion. Uh, there's actually some legal stuff. I don't need any of these, so I'm going to delete this one. Pause the tile generator, that's from something else. Not sure why I have an empty game object, that's so not necessary. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so some other names. Um, let me see if I have a list. I don't... Hold on. Just a second. Just a second. Well, so, so I mean, I, I added my own name in front of it, and it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue, but then it, something else, it, it kind of has come up again. Um... Relativity, relativitas would be, I think, the easiest just because it doesn't involve, involve too much, um, does, just doesn't, and, you know, it's not like this whole big other thing. Let me see. Give me, give me one second. Aha. Uh -huh. Game names. Right. Yeah, the, the, so, as Jet User said, the only confusing part of your name is it's always associated with theory of relativity. And it's really more about relative perspectives. And that's the thing. It's like, because it's physics and everybody, I think, like, relativity in the context of physics is theory of relativity. Yeah, so this was <laughs> Strange Loops. There was actually a game company called Strange Lubes, Dimension Garden. The one I liked was Manifold Garden. The problem with Manifold Garden is everyone... So a manifold is a super cool thing. Right. Uh, it is a topological space that resembles Euclidean space near each point. Um, but globally is non-Euclidean. The problem, and now this is a better definition, abstract mathematical space, which in close-up view resembles a space described by Euclidean geometry. However, everyone just thinks of cars. 
So that one didn't work too well. Yeah, like, so jet user, you know what a manifold is, but <laughs> I mean, in the context of math, but everyone, no one else gets it. Wall walker, that one doesn't, that one just sounds dumb. Impossible architecture, that's also the impossible architect. The problem with all these is that they're all too specific, like they seem to place it somewhere. Um, you know, Garden of the Endless, like that seems to be a place, whereas I think the game, ooh, echo texture. No, that's too echochrome. Heaven and a wild flower. That's actually not a bad name. Wandering Wind. That's also pretty good. Although, they don't, I mean, for just game names in general, but not for this one. Problem with Endless is also way too many games have that word in the title. Manifold Rising. That makes no sense. <laughs> okay, anyway, this isn't that important. Save it. Let's 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 go make some levels. Right, let me go find some ambient music to play in the background. Yeah, Manifold Rising sounds like an FPS. <laughs> it sounds like a game in the in in like the, the Halo series or something. Wouldn't it be amazing if that turned out to be the name of the next Halo game? I mean, I, I am leaning towards Relativitas, just because I think that seems to be, you know, it actually is Relativity in Indonesian. And so it, it still has that meaning, but I think people wouldn't directly jump to associating with it with theory of relativity, um, unless you're in Indonesia. Vanishing point. Yeah, that also feels too too puzzly. I don't know. Like, I think what what's great about relativity and perhaps relativitas is that they feel more like ideas than like a math term. Okay, I'm actually going to get, I'm going to use Quadro and open this up. So Quadro is a software I use which lets me do, uh, which lets you kind of keep reference images on top of what you're working on. I actually, oh no, wait, you know what? It's because, um, should I just remember, I don't need to use Quadro. Uh, because I can keep it on my extra monitor, but so that you guys can see it, I'm going to add an image viewer. There's actually already a game called Perspective. Uh, now nah, I don't want a subtitle. Hold on. Yeah, my friend, my friend Pohong and Logan. Uh, who's making four-sided fantasy, they made the student game Perspective, which is a very cool game. Um, okay, reference image. Just a second. I am going to put that reference image sort of here so you guys can see it.
Yeah, but I think the problem, I think with relativity perspective is that it's it's actually too closely linked. Um, plus, I don't, I don't really have plans for uh, a sequel. Like, I, not, not, not that I don't want to work on the game some more. It's just that I think all the ideas that I have are going to be in this version. Um, like, I'm not, I'm not saving anything for the future or whatever. Alright, so, like I always do it, I usually just kind of pan place everything, and then what I'll do is we'll go inside and figure things out a little bit later. Like, if there's a way to make things more, uh, kind of generate things more efficiently. Gear Rising. <laughs> the real Greggy. Hello. How's it going? <sighs> Bossly eight thousand. Hello. I wasn't planning on streaming until like a few weeks from now, but uh, kind of getting back, like E3 just totally messed up my schedule and I thought this would actually be a good way for me to, to force myself to kind of jump back into doing things again. So I think starting in July, I'm going to be doing very regular streaming like probably one a day it would, I think they'll be shorter maybe like two two hours at a time like two hours max um, but I'll try to do that every day and hopefully hopefully get a new level done I think I'm gonna actually I'll be doing ooh, at the moment you're trying to decide if you should go between 2d or 3d 3d is a lot of work but so is 2D. Um, I feel like with 2D, you kind of need an artist, and 3D, you could do without it. I don't know, it really depends on the overall art style. I think this feels a little short on one side. Pro Builder sometimes gets messed up. Like it, it, the grid system gets messed up if it's on the half unit. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe it except. Okay, there we go. Difficult in what sense? In terms of combat?
Oh, I see. Interesting. So, do you guys have any preferences in terms of streaming times and days uh, during the summer? Oh, show any like specific content you guys are interested in seeing more of? Oh, my NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready driver is available. Well, I am thinking of doing them in the s in sort of earlier during the day, like two to four p.m. CST, which I think is two to four p.m. Like four to six p.m. PST. No, wait, twelve to noon to two p.m. Or maybe I should keep it in the evenings. Yeah. Right, so I think in that case I should kind of keep them to the evenings then. The only problem with evenings is that it's harder for me to keep it super consistent just because there's a lot of stuff that goes on, like, you know, game developer meetups, etc., etc. Okay, where is our rigid body? Let's, let's come in and take a look. Sync, or rather, lack of V-Sync. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's see. 
Some music from the free music archive. <laughs>
Wait, well, if any of you are new and enjoying the stream, you should follow. It helps me know that people are interested. Oh, so that's what Rami said to do in his post about streaming. Sorry, I think that's a much more interesting base. Um, it might be too big. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just jump in and see what it looks like. Big fan of how this base looks. I hope it will be shorter. I think I know what's going on. Soundtrack. Well, the things I actually have not played Journey yet. Which I know isn't a prereq to listening to the soundtrack, but it's always kind of weird when you know the music before you play the game. Huh. 
So I just noticed something about this image is that the steps actually keep going up. have fountains and some of these don't. Well the idea isn't to replicate this exactly. the details and just kind of get the basics. Oh, I also got a sweet new tool, I think. So this is a tool that somebody gave me.
I don't think these are getting really getting the scale that I'm going for.
music is not bad. I am enjoying it. It is, uh... It is this guy, by the way. Ketza? Yeah, it's hard. I feel like I've already started going to full marketing p push. I honestly can't tell. I mean, I did just come back from E3, but the thing is, it's like, I still have a year. What is my elevator pitch? I go, have you seen Inception? That scene where they start walking up the, uh, it's this. Let me show you.
Man, what's up with all these people telling me to delete System 32? That's getting there. Panda Jerk 007. Hello. Andy James Adams. The concept is that you invert the walls, floors, and space to solve puzzles. Yes, but it is also a lot more than that. I think it it's just about crazy spaces. You know, I think with the with the wool wrapping and there's like a whole ecosystem. I think what makes naming hard is that it's also just super um, abstract at the moment. You know, and it's a lot of it is about architecture and scale.
mean, blocking walls is the super basic. Like, that's just how you navigate. That's not- I, don't, I feel like I don't- like, the game has moved so much so far beyond that. Um... Getting me interested in checking out Pro Builder. Yes! Yes, it's great. I, uh, you know, for me it works well for my game. I kind of- this is like all I use when building geometry. I have a sword now. What sword? Yeah, also the, uh, you know, the Pro Builder developers are super awesome. They provide really great support. Um, and they're working on some really cool things. I don't know if I'm... They showed me at GDC when I stopped by their booth. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. Um, okay, this is... Let's make this... 40. Oops. Let's make this... Chat user, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh! Oh, because you're a moderator. <laughs> right. Big problem I ran into was getting dynamically tile textures for arbitrary faces working with light mapping. Um... Actually... ProBuilder does have some problems with light mapping uh, that I found. You might... You might want to look into that. I don't. I don't actually use light maps for the game. Moderator, and now you're leaving.
Hey, Demon Straight 86. Uh, hi. You are the, uh, we've chatted before, right? The, you're the YouTuber that did the crazy portal, portal speedrun, if memory serves me correctly. I am doing well, by the way. Yeah, I do still intend to send you the game because at some point because I want you to kind of try to do that what you did to Portal, but it's it's not ready yet. <laughs> There's still so much work that needs to be done. I'm actually so I'm going to Indie Popcon on Friday, and that's a game event that's happening in the Midwest. And. After that, I am actually going to stop traveling to shows. Uh, you know, I've, I've, it's been really beneficial for me last year and for the first half of this year, but it's like now I just need to stay in and finish the game, write all the systems. So, yeah, it's gonna be a really busy summer. Uh, I'm gonna kind of just stay in and try to get all of that done. But I have I have two programmers helping me now, and I think that's gonna make things a lot faster. You are planning on starting a game company with a couple of friends, a game a game development. If you guys don't know Demonstrate, you should check out his Portal speedrun. It's pretty incredible. I can't, uh, let me see. Yeah. We're not gonna watch it here, but it's, uh, here it is. And. It was portal done in 9 minutes and 25 seconds. It's insane.
This level is actually proving to be pretty tricky to design. Let's just see what this looks like repeated. That's actually kind of cool. It's not at all what I'm going for. It's... It's Gelmeshi, hello. Rubik's Loser, do I know how to get the toolbox in Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate? I actually do not know what you are talking about. The Rubik's Loser. What's what's the toolbox? Do you mean like the uh, the Unity debug tools? And hello to Galmeshi. I think I said hello earlier. application when I designed the form, I still don't understand. Zach Pan one 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 noise level. Indeed, I'm just trying something out. I'm not. I don't actually know if this is. Oh, this is not bad. 
Oh, shit. Oh, man. That looks cool. Okay. Okay, so there are some cool ideas here. Definitely needs a ton of work. Obviously, this bottom part. Demo scene, you know, oh yeah, was it you, you, you told me about demo scene, right? You introduced me to demo scene. I mean, the problem right now is this bottom, well, clearly we can just extend it. Okay, not that one. Rubik's loser, I'm actually not the best person to be asking for... Think to be asking questions about um, Visual Studio. I'm still pretty new to it. Can I put pick textures on the level? Why would I want pick textures? Oh, is that a... Is that a... Is that some reference that I'm missing? Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't know about it. No, no pig textures. Jesus. <laughs> Jay User, is your gym like next door or something? I think you were gone for five minutes. Andy James Adams. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. All I did was like put a bunch of these blocks together and then I just hit play. Alright, the problem with that one is, is uh...
Panda Jerk asks, is there already a game called Fractals? Yeah, but you know the thing, there is a game called Fractals. There's a game called Fractal by Cypher Prime. Panda Jerk asks, out of curiosity, what is your reason for not wanting to release this game for Xbox One or PS3 360? PS360, uh, just because of performance reasons. I mean, uh, there's actually a, just like a ton of optimization that we're doing to get it running well on PS4, and I think PS3 360 would just be much harder. Um, there's also the, regarding, um, you know what, regarding, uh, Xbox One, there actually isn't a reason why I'm not doing it right now. They have approached me. The only problem is that, you know, I'm, it's, it's still, you know, I've, I, I do have like two programmers helping me now, one part-time, the other full-time, but just for a few months. So my team is still really, really small, and I just don't know if I can take on doing multiple platforms right now. Uh, you know, I kind of want to make sure that uh, both the PC and PS4 versions that I have been promising people turn out to be excellent. That's that's what's really important for me. So, you know, I just want to make, like, you know, I want to make sure the design and the tech and all that is running well. And if it is, then I can look into doing other versions. But for now, I just don't think I can handle it. Everything. Like, I'm not even doing PS Vita right now. Cool, I think I might call it a night here. Um, that one definitely still needs a lot of work, but I think it's pretty interesting. No worries. <laughs> I guess this can this can become the default. I don't mind this becoming like the default hangout for devs to to come and ask Diva questions. that and we got nothing done. Cool, I think this is not a bad level. Okay, have a good one. See you later, Andy James Adams.
I'm going to keep this level. That, I think it needs a lot of work. A lot of refinement. It's, it's pretty rough. Like, the scale here is all messed up. And I think this arch can be a lot more interesting. But, that being said... I do love, I do kind of like the overall visual appearance of it. I think this is going to be it for today. We made World 023 Pagoda Pillars. Uh, it's it's still very rough. I'm going to come back at some point and I think just refine everything. I think it can use a lot more detail. Um, this off. I think it can use a lot more detail in the columns and this space. Um, you know, like with these steps, the fountains. I don't have people in the game, so that's not gonna work, but yeah, I think I think the columns themselves can be a lot more interesting. However, I do think the overall structure is pretty cool. Um, I think what would be nice also is to have it not be simply, so right now it's kinda like column, column. Well, in mine, it's just, you know, just this group of pot columns, but I think with this image, you can tell that it, 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 it seems like there are these open, large open spaces in the middle, and I think that's something I am going to do where, you know, you'd have like maybe three, three columns in a row, and that forms the length of one side of the square. You have, so, so you have these surrounding columns and then you have like kind of this open area in the middle. Okay. Cool. 